Hello everybody, I am Ramesh Bhatlish from Fiji Noida. Now precisely from now, approximately 3 months are left for the JE main online exam, which is scheduled for 6th January and it will be spanning across 6th January to 20th January 2019. So JE main 2019 is going to be very exciting for all the aspirants this year because it's going to take place in two rounds. In the first round, you'll find that the dates are also spread across and uh, students who would have applied for JE main for the first time need to be careful about certain things. Certain students who would be taking up the board exams would have completed the syllabus by now. And here my advice to all these students would be to take up adequate number of mock tests, mock tests on the actual lines of JE main and preferably from a reputed source. And they should have had adequate practice followed by test analysis of each paper. And if they are associated to a, to a good institution like FITGI, they could also get their doubts cleared from the respective subject teachers Talk to them about the how to improve their weaker areas, take extra classes from them and maximize your performance. At the same time, now since board exams are also scheduled in the month of March, you can adopt a strategy where you can prepare simultaneously for your mains as well as your board exams. Subjects like mathematics when you're solving them, do it to the level of JE main, JE advance and this will auto automatically cover your uh, topics of board exams. Subjects like physics and chemistry, where you need to also elaborate or answers in the subjective format for boards, ensure that you are taking up numericals in sufficient quantities of every chapter. You will also utilize your gap between board exams to take up several papers. Right now, you will find that you will have to appear for the uh, pre-board exams in the month of December. When you are writing down the pre-board exams, you will utilize the gaps between the pre-board exams to take up mock tests of JE main. This will help you to take up JE main more confidently immediately after your pre-board exams. Similarly, when you, if in case you're going for the second round of JE main in the month of April, you will utilize your time in months of February, March, in between your board exams to take up mock tests of JE main again. Here I would emphasize that time management will play a very crucial role in increasing your scores. So when you are taking the JE main, take it in a proper strategy, have a strategy to crack the questions. Take the paper in two rounds. In the first round, allocate 40 minutes to each subject and target to solve at least 10 questions in each subject correctly. This way you will ensure to crack at least 30 questions. If marking scheme is plus four, you get 120 marks in the first round. Similarly, in the second round, divide your time equally in 20 minutes to all the three subjects and target to solve at least five questions correctly. This way you will be solving 15 questions with plus four marking scheme, you can get 60 marks in the second round. So you can see that in the two rounds, if you have taken the paper, you can at least score 180 marks out of 360 in JE main. Here, in case you have taken sufficient number of mock tests, you would have ample practice about the kind of questions which have been asked, you can even score more than 200. The, uh, the reasonable cutoff for getting into the NITs generally will be around 180 plus marks out of 360 in JE main. So if you are able to adopt this kind of a strategy, you can sure secure a seat in the NITs and then keep your preparation on for JE advanced exam. My best wishes to all the aspirants. Thank you so much. This is Ramesh Patlish from Fiji. Like the video? Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay updated on other universities and entrance exams. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and www.careers360.com.